Good day. Welcome to Catholic Saints Information. I'm the amateur hagiographer. Today we're going to talk about St. Ida of Hexham. St. Ida. St. Ida was the second bishop of Hexham, England. His date of birth is unknown, and he died on the 26th of October in 686. He was a disciple of St. Iden. And whether he was of English or Pictish ancestry, we have no way of knowing. As early as 651, he was elected the Abbot of Melrose Abbey, which was then within the metropolitan jurisdiction of York in England. With the increase of the Christian population in northeastern Britain, the government of a territory as big as what was then called Northumbria was too heavy for one sea to manage. So accordingly, in 678, so accordingly, in 678, Archbishop Theodore constituted Bernicia, which is that part of Northumbria, which is north of the River Tees, as a suffragan diocese and consecrated each of Eden, as a suffragan diocese and consecrated Eda as its bishop. The new diocese was to have two episcopal sees, one in Hexham and one at Lindeford Farm which would put it at the opposite ends of the, of the county of Northumberland. Ida was to be called the Bishop of the Bernicians. This arrangement lasted for three years. But when St. Cuthbert was chosen Bishop of Hexham, he declined, saying he would rather stay at his old home than move to the southern sea. And so Ida consented to exchange with him. In the last two years of his life, he was a Bishop of Hexham instead of Bernicia. Cuthbert ruled uh, in Lindisfarne. Like most of the early saints of the English church, St. Ida was canonized by general repute of sanctity among the faithful in the regions which he helped to Christianize, and his feast is kept on the 26th of October, the day of his death. For more information about St. Ida and thousands of other saints and beati of the church, come see us at catholicsaints.info and catholicsaints.mobi. Thanks for listening.